Hallelujah. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with you all. Thank the grace of our Lord Jesus uh, for the opportunity that I'm able to share the word of God with you. Uh, this morning, I would like to use the topic uh, when the rooster crows for our mutual encouragement. Uh, uh, see, in ancient time, uh, people don't have the clock to tell time. Uh, uh, so when the rooster crows, uh, they would wake up and do the things that are needed to be done for that day. Uh, in the Bible, it was recorded a time when the rooster, rooster crows. Uh, this morning we're going to study uh, to learn uh, when the rooster crows, uh, what that day was like. Uh, we're going to look at the Gospel of Mark. Uh, Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, verse 29 to 20, uh, 31. Uh, Mark 14, chapter 14. Uh, Mark 14, chapter 14. Yeah. Peter was a disciple of Lord Jesus. Uh, yeah. uh, when our Lord Jesus began his ministry, uh, he gathered 12 people from all walks of life. Uh, to work closely with him. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, people can people he can trust and rely on. Uh, uh, these were called disciples. Uh, and they have been following him for all these past three years. And that night was the Lord's Last Supper with them. And he told them that he was going to be betrayed, uh, ending his ministry on earth. Yeah, after that, they all went out to uh, Mount uh, Olives. Uh, and they, he told them that they all will fall away. Uh, actually, it fall, uh, uh, fall. Yeah, just like the ship, they will scatter once the shepherd is killed. Uh, yeah, and on, on that very night, before the rooster crows, you, Peter, will deny me three times. Yeah, and now, before the rooster crows, we can see how faithful Peter was to the Lord. Yeah, and he was very courageous. Uh, he, was, uh, 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 he was very courageous by what he has told uh, Jesus. Uh, you see, the word spoken by Peter has touched us and also inspired us. Uh, yes, and I, I, I wouldn't dare to say, Lord, if I must die, I will not deny you. Uh, yeah, but I believe uh, Peter meant, uh, truly meant what he said. Yeah, it was his objective, and that what he resolved to do after he has been following Lord Jesus for so long time. Yeah, he was willing to offer his life, whole life, to follow Jesus. 
And now let's look at the, the same chapter, we go to verse uh, 72. Yeah, for 72. Yeah. But now the rooster crawl and what kind of Peter he is. Yeah, it took the rooster to crawl two times to wake him up into reality. Yeah, he, we, we saw that how Peter uh, weak he was, and then three times consecutively, consecutively, he had denied Lord Jesus. Yeah, it wasn't that somebody was holding a knife at, at his neck. Yeah, he was denying our Lord Jesus when he was confronted by just a servant girl. See, so what a, a great difference is a person's objective and resolution when it comes to reality. Uh, yes, and see when the rooster crows, uh, it revealed Peter's weaknesses and his grumble and he fell. Uh, yes, and we by no means dare to uh, belittle Peter or dare to mock at him. Yeah, because in fact, when our Lord Jesus was asking Peter, the rest of his disciples was there with him, listening to him as uh, listening to our Lord Jesus as well. Yeah, and yeah, and when our Lord Jesus said, "If I must die," uh, no, and, and 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 they all said the same thing. I, they agree that if I must die with you, I will not deny you. See, at this very moment, our Lord Jesus is also asking every Christian this same, this same question as well. Are we any better than Peter? This is where we must carefully ponder about when we hear the rooster crow. See, in this complex world, we are faced with many challenging, challenging things. Yeah, the busyness of our family and the busyness of our work. Uh, we also might have already denied our Lord Jesus in some way or the other. And, and yet we don't know. Uh, when we meet with trials, temptation, and uh, can we still holding on to our zeal and our love for our Lord Jesus? Yeah, even though we did not openly declare that we do not deny Jesus, but our daily actions had already telling people that we have nothing to do with our Lord Jesus. Yeah, perhaps it could be our thinking, uh, contradicting uh, the teachings of the Bible already. Yeah, and yet we don't know. Yeah, and when the rooster crows, uh, we too will reveal our own weaknesses just like Peter and fall just like Peter. And so when the rooster crows, it is time for us to be to, to, to stay watchful. Yeah, and now uh, one more importantly is to know what kind of Peter he was after the rooster crow. 
See, after the rooster crow, uh, Peter, Peter went out uh, um, to weep bitterly. Uh, after he weeped bitterly, he truly repented and he took a closer look at himself. And then he no longer wants to be somebody who he is not. Yeah. And so he took up uh, his own cross to follow our Lord Jesus. And then he fought a good fight for Lord Jesus till the end of his life. Uh, yes. And the failure of Peter has given us uh, so much encouragement uh, 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 to, to, to many Christians who has one fallen as well. Yeah. See, for us, as it turns out, that God's grace is indeed sufficient for us. Yes, and God knows our weaknesses and our failures. And God is willing to give us the opportunity uh, to help us to get up again. Uh, so when the rooster, rooster crows, uh, we may fail, uh, but after the rooster crows, we must earnestly repent and turn around. Uh, just like Peter did, we arise and begin a fresh start. Uh, starting off by walking to, uh, on the right path. Uh, do not be afraid to face uh, ourselves. Uh, yeah, yeah, and do not be afraid to face difficulties. Uh, do not uh, uh, be someone who we are not. Yes. Uh, because, yeah, because that day will come and, uh, uh, and regardless who we are, we will have to stand before the Lord. And so therefore, we must prepare ourselves well for that day. Uh, so from here, I would like to share with you a few points for our mutual encouragement. Uh, yeah, point number one is, when the rooster crows, are we prepared? Uh, yeah, and when the rooster crows, it is time when everyone should be prepared and ready. Uh, but uh, for, because we don't know when the next temptation or calamity will come. Uh, but when, when it comes, then we must not be caught off guard. Yes. Though we may fall, but we must not continue to fall and fall again. Uh, we must learn from the, our failure and to start anew. Yeah. To do that, we must examine our failure, and if we don't, we will fall and fail again. You see, uh, we have just seen uh, uh, these recent tribulations happen not many years ago. Yeah, just like the collapse of the Twin Tower uh, in New York. Uh, the SARS in Hong Kong. Yeah, the tsunami in Thailand and in Japan. And the COVID-19 we have. And we have the heat wave in the summer, and recently we have heavy rain ca causing a landslide. And all these are what our Lord Jesus has told us. 
Say, in me you will, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, in me you will have peace. Uh, in the world you will have tribulations. So as long as we're still living in this world, we will face tribulation. Except we don't know when it will happen. Uh, uh, when it comes, uh, are we able to keep our faith? Yes. And now let, let us look at, look at uh, Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24, verse 42 to 44. Matthew二十四章第四十二到四十四节。Yes。呃，四十二节。所以你们要警醒，因为不知道你们的主的那一天来到。呃，家主若是知道呃几更天有贼来，就必警醒，不容人挖头房屋。这是你们所知道的，是
Uh, we're going to take a look at the parable of the ten virgins for our mutual encouragement. See, among the ten virgins, those do not have oil for their lamb, they will be kept outside and the door will be shut. Uh, let's look at uh, Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 10 to 13. See, this foolish uh, virgin knocked on the doors, uh, seeking to enter. Yeah, but the, the door cannot be opened because uh, this was their wedding customer, uh, a custom at that time. Yeah, see, all the virgin must prepare enough oil for the lamb to welcome, for, welcome the bridegroom. Yeah, see, if your, your lamb gone dim, uh, you are not qualified to welcome the bride and you will be disqualified. And so all those who are ready will go into the room with him. And then the door will be shut after that. See, anyone uh, who is late will be shut out because the door will not be open again. Yeah, all those people must be ready at the time when the bridegroom comes. Ah, so that we can uh, go along with him and enter into the room. Uh, this is the rule. Uh, uh, these rules are their customs. And that they are all, all these people understood uh, at that time. Yeah, so are we ready? Are we ready with our oil? Yeah, is our oil, uh, sorry, is our lamp shining brightly? Because all these things are concerned with our survival of our soul. Yeah, the, yeah, these are the things we must need to get ready for. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise, when, the death, when death comes, we'll find ourselves um, cannot enter uh, into the heavenly kingdom gate. Yeah, wouldn't that be the saddest and the most sorrowful day of our life? Uh, but what did our Lord Jesus say to us? Truly, I said to you, I don't know you, watchful, therefore, for some, for you not know whether uh, either the day or the hour will come. Uh, point number three, do not delay. Uh, yes, we, we do, not when, uh, do not know when our Lord Jesus is coming. Uh, we can also say that uh, he will not come tonight or next week. But what about our life? Uh, do we dare to say that we won't die tonight or next week? Uh, we think that we are still young and healthy. But do you think those who died or uh, 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 all people and sickly people? Yeah, not so. Yeah, in, in our younger days, um, we hear from our parents um, saying, uh, so and so had died. Uh, but now, as we grow older, and everybody is connected, connected with a cell phone, uh, we get informed quickly who had died. 
See, people died regardless of their ages and of their health conditions. Yeah, life is precious and yet so fragile. Yeah, as such, for the sake of our soul, we must quickly be ready, uh, prepared and be ready. But however, we seem to have a common bad habit. Uh, and, and, and through this parable of the ten virgins, our Lord Jesus want, us, uh, want to warn us about our bad habit. Uh, the, the problem of procrastination. Yeah, and we also think that we have plenty of time in this world, so we think we have plenty of opportunity. Uh, just like these foolish virgins, they thought they have lots of opportunity, so they went to sleep. Uh, we should not think their failure was because of the sleep. No, they become foolish because of their sleep. Yeah, you see, even the wise virgin that they slept as well. Yeah, therefore sleep was not their uh, weak point. But for those who are wise, uh, before their sleep, uh, they had this they had quickly made preparations, getting ready. See, once they have got their all do uh, oil done and they can go to sleep at ease. Uh, so whenever the bridegroom comes, then they will quickly go, uh, I mean, wake up and go uh, with him. Uh, welcome him. Uh, now for those who like to sleep, uh, who like to sleep and, and when they have the time, uh, uh, they, they should uh, actually uh, work on the oil first and, and yet they didn't do that. Uh, that's when they, 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 that's what made them to be foolish. Uh, so by the time the bridegroom came, uh, they, they rushed out to buy the oil, but it was too late already. Yeah, here it says that the time uh, they went out to buy and came back and the door was already shut. Yeah, they cannot enter uh, anymore. So why must we wait too late and then regret for not doing it? Yeah, so remember when we were back in the days of our, uh, of our school days? Uh, when we set for our school exam. Uh, when a, a question came up and then you have four multiple choices to answer, uh, for answer. Uh, when, we, when we know we're in trouble because these four questions are, seems to be correct. Yeah, and, and see, not everyone have the same issue, but some people may have bad time management. And so they would wait until the test come around, then they will study. Yeah. yeah, and oftentimes they don't have enough time to prepare for the test. Yeah, even they have burned the midnight oil and it would not help them much help because the brain already full of information. Uh, 
Yeah, so when, yeah, so, so when they, they're set for the test, so when they're set for the test, uh, they will know whether they have prepared well or not. Yeah, see, some people uh, like to procrastinate uh, when it comes to religion. Yeah, and they will say, Oh, I will, I will come to believe in Lord Jesus when I get much older. But then, are we able to live that long? And even when we do get that all, do we still have that same heart wanting to believe in Jesus? See, we, we always think we have uh, the time. Uh, in fact, time is fleeting away, and before we know it, it's gone. Yeah, we cannot stop time or control time. But we must make use of the time and opportunity. Uh, we must not wait until the door is shut. See, our, our Lord is, um, is gracious, but His grace has a uh, time limit. Yeah, our Lord Jesus says that the master will arise and then he will shut the door. Uh, let's look at um, Luke. Now we look at the Gospel of Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13 verse 24 and 25. Mm. Although Jesus encouraged uh, these people to strive to enter the narrow door. Yeah. Uh, why must we need to strive? Uh, it's because the master will rise and shut the door. Uh, so before he does that, we must strive to enter. Uh, this door will not remain open forever. Yeah, and our Lord Jesus does not give his grace an opportunity forever. And his forbearance and tolerance has a limit. Yeah, yeah see, for, for us humans, uh, when, uh, when we reach our limit, uh, we get into a rage and to show, to show our anger. Uh, but for our Lord Jesus, when he reached the limit, because he's a just God, uh, he will execute his judgment rightly. And, um, and, and, that, and that's why we must not, uh, uh, that's why he cannot show his uh, forbearance and tolerance on and on and on. And so he, so he has also set a judgment day. And that the grace of uh, the door of grace will be shut. And so if we wait for that day to come, and then we start to seek for God's forgiveness. And that will be too late. So therefore, our Lord Jesus, uh, so therefore we must remember what our Lord Jesus said to us. That the Master will arise and shut that door. Uh, then, then, when, then, then we beg the Lord Jesus to open the door and He said, He said to us, I do not know you. Uh, let's go to uh, point number four. Strive 
for the correct door. Strive for the correct door, not the wrong door. Correct door. Yeah, you see, in um, in our life, we have strive to uh, very hard to enter the door into the world. Yeah, see, some people in order for them to uh, get into the job market. Uh, we, uh, we don't know how much time and hardship they have gone through so that the door will be open for them, um, the company will hire them. Uh, yeah, see, for, there was a friend uh, who came to Vancouver in Vancouver in 1975. Yeah, he had already working uh, back home before he came. Yeah, but however, he couldn't get the job he wanted here, not unless he go to Edmonton where they have uh, the kind of job that he is looking for. Uh, so he decided, decided to remain in Vancouver and go back to school to study. Uh, he went to BCIT in the daytime. And, and in, in, in the evening, he would go to a restaurant to do dishwashing. Yeah, sometimes he had to work from restaurants to restaurant and had to, do, and had to work weekend and public holidays as well. But all the hard work and studying was paid off after he graduated. Yeah, and he got the job that he was studying for, and then he and he hired he was hired by a company in Calgary. Yeah. So he was rewarded for all his hard work and sacrifices. Yeah, because he has put in, uh, put in for this door of the world to open for him. So now, what kind of door do we choose to strive to enter at this end time? See, the door to our church is always open. The arms of our Lord Jesus is always open. But who is willing to strive to enter the door to our Lord Jesus? Yeah, and our Lord Jesus said here, I tell you, many will seek to enter and will not uh, able to. Will not be able to. Yeah. Do you want to enter? That if yes, then we will have to strive well um, and don't wait for too late. Yeah, and point number five, and that the, the oil cannot be shaped. The oil cannot be shaped. Yeah, uh, this, this is another point that we must pay attention to. Yeah, yeah, we must not only get the oil, oil ready. You see, some will say, I have already received the Holy Spirit and I have my passport already in hand. Yeah, now I can sleep uh, at, with ease. Is that so? Uh, is that so? Are you sure and that you don't need to do anything else? Yeah, you, you see that uh, this oil is meant for you to shine. Yeah, if you don't shine, then you, you, you will be disqualified even though you have received the Holy Spirit. Yeah, 
Okay. Ah, right. And um, um, verse eight and nine. Verse eight and nine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, um, Matthew chapter twenty-five, verse eight and nine. Did did you did you notice that the this foolish uh, virgin that 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 their lamb actually still have oil? Yeah, but their lamp are getting dimmer, uh, indicating that their oil are getting used up. Uh, 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 and that, that the rule is that the rule is that if you if your lamp don't shine, then you are not able, allowed to uh, welcome the bridegroom. Yeah, see, how can you welcome the bridegroom when you are in the darkness? Uh, you need to be the sons of light holding a lamb that holding a lamb that shines. Yeah, and they, they know this rule, and so they quickly went um, uh, to ask their sisters, give us some oil so that, we, uh, so that our lamp can continue to shine. Yeah, but the wise one said, no, sorry, we are afraid that there will, will not be enough for us and for you, uh, go and buy yourself. See, why, why were they afraid that the oil might not be enough for them? And they did not want to share the oil with them. It has, no, it has nothing to do with the selfishness. You see, in those days, the lamp that they used to welcome the bridegroom was actually a fire torch. There are very often that you have to cut the ends and then you dip, dip into oil. Yeah, this torch requires a large amount of oil in order to keep burning. Yeah, and then the, the oil has to be replenished every 15 minutes. And so that why they cannot share the oil, especially at a time like this. You see, our Lord Jesus spoke of this parable to remind us all. That everyone must shine on their own. Yeah, for the well-being of our own spirituality, we must work on our own, and no one else can help us. Yeah, everyone must work on their own spiritual, spiritual cultivation. Yeah, everyone must shine on their own. Uh, when we come to listen to a sermon, we reflect and repent. Yeah, when we listen to a sermon, we hear it for our own sake. Uh, we shouldn't say, oh, how pitiful that this brother did not come to listen to this sermon. Yeah, we should say, thank you, Lord, today I came and heard this sermon. Yeah, we must listen for our own sake. And we pray for our own sake and we cultivate our spirituality for our own sake. 
Uh, it's because when judgment comes, God will judge a person according to his deeds. Uh, so the, the, the year 20, uh, 2021 will come uh, to an end in another, another week time. Uh, when we were young, it was fun to make uh, to make new new year revolution a uh, resolution. Uh, but when we uh, get older, we stop doing that. Why? Yeah, one of the reasons is that it seems that seems that we are unable to keep up with it. Yeah, so why bother making the same resolution um, every year? Yeah, but, um, I, but I hope the, this sermon will bring some uh, encour encouragement to us all. Uh, to make a resolution in this coming year to do better for the sake of our spirituality. And so that when the rooster crawls, uh, we need to ask, am I prepared and ready? Uh, may our Lord Jesus help us. Uh, I end my sermon here. Uh, may all glory and honor and power to be given to our Lord Jesus. Uh, let us arise to sing him. Uh, 43.